Uh, I'm Brandon, comicbook.com. Um, my question is just with having worked with both uh, Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon, I was just wondering like, if you could talk a little bit about what the set was like, some of the differences, and how they kind of maintained the atmosphere on set and all that kind of stuff, and how they operated with you guys. Well, I got to address that. I mean, we, you know, the movie is, um, you know, Zack's DNA. Cast the movie, design the movie. I, there's something that people, I think, don't understand who don't actually work on movies, which is how much of the work is done in prep. How much, you know, the casting, the, the, the sets get built, the story is written, the ship is in essence sailing. Like I found as a director, you could maybe change 10%, 15% or something kind of on the day. So you really had uh, Zach's, you know, ship set sail for us. And um, we were uh, fortunate that when Zach was not able to, to continue, um, you know, we got really lucky in that we got a guy who's very accomplished in his own right. and particularly in this genre, and he kind of sprinkled some of his, you know, his, his fairy dust on our movie and, and finished it. And um, I don't think there's any way to go back, like, to me, and I look through scenes and go, that's a Joss scene, that's a Zach scene. That's a, it was more, um, you know, they were both working together toward a common goal. Debbie would know better than, than I would, certainly, but I got the sense that um, Joss was working from, a, you know, from uh, what he had discussed with Zach before he stepped in. And for you guys up here, obviously, they've all kind of said how long of a process it was and then having two directors working on the film. Can you talk about that a little bit? Just making sure that the vision that you guys had from the beginning that you wanted as fans and for us as fans to see finally came together. Yeah, I mean, listen, I think for us, this whole thing is so bittersweet because we have been working on this franchise for the past, you know, almost eight years when we started developing the script from Man of Steel and then we moved on to BVS and also Zach developed the story for Wonder Woman which was leading up to the point of Justice League where these characters were finally going to come together. I mean this was a really great hero's journey and um, a journey for these characters to be the characters that they are today. So not being able to complete his vision you know, was, was extremely difficult. Um, so that makes it hard. But we were lucky that we had Joss already working on script pages. And, you know, our feeling is that we're hoping that people don't think about how the movie was made when they went to see it, because these characters are bigger than any director. They're bigger than any of us. And we love and adore these characters, and we love and adore all these people here, so. How about for you, Chuck? Well, I, I mean, I can't really say it any better than Debbie or, 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 or Ben, you know. Um, of course, you know, it's been just a great privilege and fun to work with Zach and Debbie on, and all of the actors in various, in the various films, starting with, uh, with Henry, with, with, with Man of Steel, and then, you know, as, you know, um, Ben with Batman versus Superman and Henry, and then Gal and Wonder Woman, and and then the whole team together right now. It's been, um, you know, a, a actually in a, in, a, in a wonderful way, you know, a great learning experience and life experience. And you know, it was sad not to have Zach there, but as you know, we've been saying to have Joss come in, and he had already been working with Zach and. And now we're just really happy with the movie and really happy with the dynamics of what we're doing and how great these characters, you know, infused by this talent have made these characters. And, and we're really happy to be sharing it with everybody. My name is Eric Eisenberg from Cinema Blend. Uh, my question is for Mr. Momoa. Uh, from the world of comic book movies, you've kind of been working in reverse, going from the team-up movie to the solo film. I'm just curious about the process of working this character uh, from that direction, and also how the work on Justice League wound up impacting the work on the solo film. <clears throat> well, I think that was one of the... I mean, it all, it all kind of came from Zach's mind. I mean, Aquaman wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. When I stepped into his room and he told me his vision. I want people to know that, you know, in a year, you're going to understand where he came from, what happened to his mother, what happened to his father, and how he was treated in this world, and how he didn't know how to use his powers. And, and sometimes he saved people, and sometimes he lost people. And, you know, his human side didn't know how to cope with those things, and he would cover up those things. And so he's, you know, he's hiding behind a lot of... There's a lot of layers of this guy, and I think once we do get to the solo film, you get to see 
the man who's going to take responsibility and help the world and become king eventually. So this one, I don't really think that he's, he is Aquaman, he's Arthur Curry, but he's, he's not, he hasn't done the trident yet, and it's, 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 uh, it's coming, but uh, just stick with it. And he's Simba not, right for now. For the people who are like, that's not my Aquaman, it's like, eh, it is wait a little bit longer. Jenna Bush from Coming Soon. Um, I'm curious what sort of team building work you guys did. Did you train together or was there anything else you guys did together? Parcheesi. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I think a lot of it is, is the time we got to spend between takes. Uh, I, I see some familiar faces who were with us for set visits here today. And uh, I mean, what you saw is what you got. I mean, being around these guys, the different energy and the, the uh, the different uh, comedic sensibilities with respect to that, I think it did build the team in a, in a pretty organic way. I think that going back to Zach, uh, he did uh, magnificent work uh, casting, like plunking and knowing exactly um, which one is gonna make the best of its character and how the whole will work together. Um, and it's been super easy. It's been very natural, I mean, no hours at the psychologist, you know, <laughs> so far talking about each other. No, it's been super fun and, um, and very easy. I, I just also want to add, you know, f f as a producer, sometimes you go, gee, how are we going to get these guys to work together? How are we going to get them to bond? Well, we didn't have to do anything. You know, if you went into the gym, sometimes many of them were there, sometimes they weren't. When you, if, you, if there was take one, between take one and take two, or take three and take four, you'd look around, they were together. And you know, it was uh, the most easy coming together of a group, on any group experience on a movie that I've ever seen. It's, the other thing too is we spent a lot of time on set. There wasn't, it was the first time I've ever stayed on set normally. I got massive ADD and I can't sit still and I gotta go do something. So I'd always run back to my trailer, but we were just, oh, we, had, we're, we lived in our tents. And we, we have a band. Yes. Yeah, so he did band. the drums, Andrew did the drums. <laughs> we did some singing, Ben did the Bruce voice. It's been super awesome, I'm telling you. Jingle There's a Twitter. Bell time. It's a swell time. <laughs> 